Hey, I'm Luke Butler. I'm the Director of Innovation at KDM, and we're going to run you through the latest features that we've added to our product. Just in case you missed out the updates from last month, we're going to give you a quick recap now. One of the features we added was the ability to add multiple demand spikes within a single scenario. All you have to do is enable your demand spikes, select your first junction, apply some flow, select a second junction and apply uh, the demand spike to see flows happening in multiple locations at once. Kdim recently released an API to allow you to ingest live data from either SCADA or AMI directly into the application. To access this feature, please contact Q uh, with your request and we'll provide you with an API key. Once you ingest your live data into the platform, you'll see those sensors on the map. You can use these sensors to gain knowledge on how accurate your model is and also see the deviation from live data to the model results. You can enable halos to see the difference uh, and move through the timeline to see how the deviations change through the day. Once you've loaded in your live data through the API, you'll see the sensors in the map. You'll also be given a panel showing the deviations from the live data and an overall model accuracy. We've recently added support for pressure-driven demand models. If your model supports it, you'll see the demands reducing as the pressures decrease in an area, especially with doing things like demand spikes or water main shutdown. We also added support for updating the pump status based off live data. If you have a sensor attached to your pump, you'll see that the actual status will match the pump in the model. That was a quick recap of what we did last month. Let's have a look at what we delivered in March. After feedback from our users, we've improved the way that we visualize valves within KDM. It's now much easier to understand if a valve is either open, closed, or partially open just by looking at the colors and symbols within the app. We've recently added the ability to interact with valves individually. If you want to open or close a valve, all you need to do, zoom in, select it, and toggle its status. The simulation will rerun with that valve in its new state. You can use these for all types of things, rezoning boundaries or running unidirectional flushing. We've further enhanced the automatic model updates from live data to include tanks. If you have a sensor on your tank that tells us the level, the model will automatically adjust the levels to match those in real life. You can now share your models within a single workspace. This allows anyone in your team to upload models, run scenarios, and get a better understanding of their network. I hope you liked all those features we added in KDM. Log into the app now, give it a try, and share your feedback with us. And stay tuned because we're adding so many new features to KDM. And you're going to see some new improvements such as scenario management, improvements in the way that we import GIS information, and a deeper integration with AMI. Make sure you visit our roadmap and vote on the features that you want to see next. K2.